Hello all, welcome back. In this one, we're going to learn how to upload files in Selenium WebDriver using Python language. We will take a look at a public website called pluploadcom and right here we're going to go to examples and there we see a file upload example. Now let's take a look at the problem statement. On any website, there's going to be a browse button or add files button like this. When we click on it, it's going to bring up a system explorer. This system explorer comes from the OS like either the Windows or if you are using Mac, then it's going to be from Mac and on Mac it's known as Finder. And browser has no control over these kind of system pop-ups. Selenium WebDriver also has no way to interact with these because Selenium WebDriver is a browser automation tool and it cannot work with Windows or Mac system pop-ups. Now there are two ways to upload files. The first way is to use the send keys method which is available in Selenium WebDriver and send the complete path of the file which we would like to upload. Please go through the video shown in the card above. I've already covered this using the Selenium WebDriver native way. In this video, we will take a look at the second way where we're going to use a third party library to interact with the system pop-up and we're actually going to click on the add files. We're going to interact with this system pop-up, select the file we want and upload it. So this is essentially testing the whole workflow. So let's cancel it at the moment and let's take a look at what we need. In PyCharm, I have a file created called file upload windows pop-up. This is an empty file. We're going to write the code now. Other than that, we need to go to command prompt and right here we need to do pip3 install pinput. This is the first step because we're going to be using the pinput library for interacting with the system pop-up. For you, pip install pinput also might work, but I would say since you might be using Python 3, I would say use pip3 install pinput. Hit enter and let it complete. It's a small library. It already completed here. Now you can also do pip3 list and make sure that you have pinput showing up here. Okay. Once we have pip installed, we're going to go to our project here. I would say click on file, go to settings and go to project Python interpreter and make sure you have the correct Python interpreter selected here. And then in the list here, make sure that you see the pinput library, which you installed just now. Okay which means our PyCharm now knows that we have Pinboard installed. Now at this point, I'm going to say from Selenium import WebDriver from Selenium WebDriver import by. Now it's going to be Pinboard in the next list. So I'm going to say from Pinboard dot keyboard import key comma controller. Please make sure that you always use the correct case capital K and capital C here. Okay. And I'm going to import time. Then we're going to first initialize the Chrome web driver. Then first we're going to initialize the Chrome. I have some implicit weight and I'm going to open the website. Then I need to find the element for the add files or it may be browse for you, right? So you're going to say driver or find element and let's go to the website, inspect this add files button. So this is the anchor tag and it has an ID called uploader browse. I think we'll be able to use this ID. So we're going to say by dot ID. And then I'm going to put some time dot sleep here, like three seconds. And the reason I'm putting this is because once we click the add files button, it's going to show the windows pop up and Selenium web driver doesn't have control on it. So implicitly wait or any explicit wait will not work here. Okay. We forgot to add dot click here. We need to click the add files button then wait and then we're gonna move to the pinput area now the next code is gonna be for pinput library okay we're gonna say keyboard equals to controller so we're declaring a variable for the controller function and then we will say keyboard dot press what are we doing here we are simply using the keyboard of our laptop or desktop now first we need to understand the flow okay we, we know that we can use the keyboard function now to press the keys. Let's go to the website. Now on this website, if we click the add files button, we're going to see the system explorer. Now we can go to a location where we have the file saved, which we want to upload. So I'm going to open another explorer window and I'm going to show you that I have a file created here right under my project. I just named it as example file. It's a screenshot because this website, I think takes a JPG or PNG kind of format for the upload. So first thing we need to do here is we need to find the location of this file. If we just click on this bar on the top here, we can see the location of the file. It's the complete location. Alternatively, you can just right click the file, click on properties 
and here you will get the location it's the same location okay so we need to copy this location and then we can go to the system explorer so i'm going to open it again right here let me just go somewhere else to come back here now i'm going to type the location in this file name text box and now i'm going to hit the backslash do you see as soon as i type the backslash it's going to give me the option for every file under this folder i'm going to select this file and then i'm going to hit enter as soon as i hit enter the file is uploaded here so since we are automating the application the browser application for testing our web application we don't really have to test the navigation here on windows like if i just simply click on this and enter the file path here and select it that's enough i don't really have to go here and then here and then go to my directory and then figure out which file i want to select and all that because we are not testing the windows explorer we are not testing the file explorer we have on windows or finder on mac right so we're going to close this we need to only focus on the test scenario that we're working with okay so now here on the keyboard dot press line instead of using dot press i'm going to say dot type and in this type i'm going to paste the complete path of the file since we're working on windows we need to put a double backslash after every directory and then example file dot png once we have typed the path of the file we're gonna hit the enter okay now how do we hit the enter we're gonna say keyboard dot press key dot enter see as soon as i type e and it's going to show me the options and i can select enter from here now keyboard doesn't work as simple as that for every key press we have to release the key even on our system when we are pressing the enter key we have to release the enter key then only the action is performed right so we have to say keyboard dot release and we need to release the same key okay once we release the key then the action is completed now i'm going to save this file and the coding is complete literally so other than opening the browser and all that this is just four lines of code here okay not much now before i actually run this file i'm gonna change it to firefox because i think my chrome driver had some issues so i'm just gonna right click make sure you save the file before you run it and run the file and there you go it's opening the website and right here it clicked everything on the add files it typed it and it uploaded the file did you see all the magic happened right so it actually opened the system explorer it typed everything there in the path location and then it hit enter and the file is uploaded right here so that's about it the process finished with exit code zero which means no errors found and just with a simple three four lines of code we were able to upload the files using the system explorer on a windows system i hope you found this helpful and you enjoyed this video if yes please like and share with your friends please let me know in the comments below about the topic you want me to make the next video on and don't forget to subscribe for more such interesting videos signing off and i'll see you in the next video